Hey guys, what's going on? Will here from TTR, and today we have an unboxing of the Sony PS Vita. Uh, now, this is Sony's brand new handheld gaming device for this year. Uh, it does look pretty cool, so anyway, I'm going to unbox it for you guys today here. Uh, on the back here, you can see we get some pictures and information on the device itself. This is the Wi-Fi only version. There really wasn't enough uh, features to justify uh, the extra price for a 3G version, and I also don't have that much 3G coverage around where I live anyway. So, on the top of the box here, the first thing you're going to see is the quick start guide to get you set up with the device. Uh, really not much in terms of a manual in here. You can see we get the PS Vita system itself. We're going to take a look at that in a second. Uh, here are the AR cards, which stand for Augmented Reality, and this is the same kind of technology in the 3DS. It's actually pretty cool. I'll have some videos on that in the future. So next in the box here is the UK power lead along with the small power brick and also the USB lead which is obviously Samsung proprietary, pretty typical, and here is the safety guide. The PS Vita itself seemed pretty light as soon as I got this thing out of the box, although this is probably because of the removal of the UMD drives. Obviously all the games are now based on a memory card. On the left side of the Vita you will find a D-pad along with the new style of analog stick and the PS Home button along with the speaker. On the right of the device here you will find the triangle, circle, square and X buttons along with a pretty typical VGA quality camera on the front. Uh, also the same analog stick and the start and select buttons, along with the right channel speaker. On the bottom here you will find the Samsung proprietary charging slot along with the headphone inputs and also the proprietary memory card slot. And finally on the top here you will find the left and right shoulder buttons along with the volume buttons, the accessory port which doesn't actually have any accessories for available yet, the PS Vita game card slot and the power button. So here is a closer look at the analog stick on the Vita here. You can see they are designed a bit differently uh, than the PS3 controllers, however they still feel a lot better than the old sly pad on the old PSP. So aside from the Vita being touchscreen, this thing is also touch back enabled, uh, which means you can actually touch the back and kind of interact with some of the games here. Uh, you can see we also have a camera, again this is pretty standard quality VGA, however it gets the job done for those AR games where you're going to be using the camera uh, for in-game augmented reality. So I have the Vita powered up here and I did actually skip the startup screen just because of information issues. Uh, and you can see the screen is gorgeous, obviously this is a touch screen, uh, this is OLED which means that the blacks are super black. Uh, and the screen just looks really vibrant and really clear as well. Anyway guys, you can stay tuned to a full review of this system along with Uncharted Golden Abyss and Rayman Origins. Uh, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.